I am here at Jakobshaven, which is in Lulusat. I'm looking at a Umiak, which is at the Lut Rasmussen Museum. And this is covered with seal skin. This is a new Umiak. And its structure is quite different in many ways from the Umiak in Barrow, Alaska. This is meant for family use. It's called the woman's boat here in Greenland. It's not really used for whaling that much. You can see the bow and stern and stringers are quite different. There you can see the entire seam on one of the skins. And this is that same seam we were looking at from the inside. This is the seam on the outside. This is designed to negotiate these ice conditions. Here, the Jakob Haven is notorious for. Up into the 1950s, many Greenlanders lived in this type of sod house. The sod is reinforced with flat stones to uh, strengthen the walls. They are about one foot thick. Looking at this window casing, you can judge for yourself that they're thicker on the bottom than they are on the top. The top is about one foot. The bottom is about 18 inches, or a foot and a half. The entrance is about five feet at the very most. So one has to quickly learn to duck when you go through these doorways. There are two rooms, an outer room, a small low room, and then the inner room is the main room where cooking and sleeping are done. This is the interior of this house. And you have your religious pictures. You have the shelf up above, which is strung with the leather thongs from the upper beams. In the corner, you have the stove here, which is probably coal-fired because I think there's a local source of coal. Uh, returning from the stove, back across the wall, you have the sleeping platform with the caribou hides that are very soft, and a picture of the king and queen of Denmark. Your kerosene lamp, and beside it a seal oil or whale blubber lamp. And this is the upper portion. The ceiling in here is maybe seven feet at the very highest point. This is Manea Matessin's kayak. He was a world famous kayak paddler who died here at Jakob's Hound. And he originally came from East Greenland, and this kayak has characteristics that are East Greenland. It is a very flat boat. His deck lines are a little different than what you see elsewhere. The arrangement of bone on his paddle is a little different. You see the enlarged end, which is typical of East Greenland. And the inside, you can see, is very narrow. This is a fairly beamy kayak. With a double charm. And, and it's very flat on the bottom. This is the bow. 
which is quite low. This is off Elilisset, where Manessa Matthiasen paddled and hunted almost every day. He always caught seals and brought them to town. His kayaking started in Amoslik on East Greenland, which is why his kayak is so especially flat, because in Amoslik they have a lot of wind and why there is a bulge on the end of his kayak paddle which is for hooking ice so that you could bring your kayak up on a pan of ice and continue scooting across which they had to resort to in a Moslik very flat sheet ice that would suddenly form just in moments or come in on the wind Thank you for watching my video. This is looking at Disco Island and weather off of Iluluset.